Hello guys, welcome back my friends, thank you for stopping by, thank you for viewing my videos, really appreciate it and want to say that I'm glad that my, my, my videos can help somebody in some ways. All right guys, so in this video I'm gonna talk about pain reduction effect from magnetic pulsers and the mistake that everyone everybody does who have used it for this purpose. <clears throat> so, as you have probably heard that Magnetic pulsers, especially at the higher power output, they have a pain killing, pain reduction effect. And from my experience, <clears throat> you can suppress over 90% of pain um, within the first session, two minutes or so. You need about 10 pulses to get about 80% suppression of the pain and if you give it about 10 minutes which is full session um, your pain will go away probably around 95% and so <clears throat> the mistake that everybody does do the uh, when using magnetic pulser for pain reduction is they tend to forget that they were injured and they literally going back to their normal life right away which is not a good thing to do let me explain let's say <clears throat> a person have injured a patient have injured a knee and um, <clears throat> he took a pulser and uh, placed it over the injury spot and did a 10 minute session um, most of the pain went away pretty much all the pain went away and so he gets up and he's like oh that's nice I don't feel no pain in my knees and so he goes back to his life his his normal daily routine which will put the load on his knee the thing is when knees are injured and uh, and the 10 minute session was done to it this is not gonna fix the injury right away from what I have been reading and the information I can find it seems like what seems like is the pain will go away and um, on the injury place magnetic en energy will stimulate stem cells activity basically it's gonna make them move quicker and um, do their job faster and from my experience it takes about um, twice faster if a patient let's say with a knee injury have used a magnetic pulser within a three day of period about 10 times uh, 8 to 10 minute sessions probably gonna get a sun from this side Only shooting from this side here So, you have to understand that the injury is still there. If, for example, in our case with the injured knee, a patient went to the doctor and doctor gave them a local anesthesia which removed all his pain. And, um, and, uh, it doesn't mean that 
um, removing the pain will remove all the issue. The issue is still there. Although it does, <clears throat> it does, it's healing and it heals faster, but it's still gonna take time to heal. For example, the injured knee will take about four or five days to heal to about 80 to 90% back to the, in, to the normal. Depends, of course, on the injury. We're gonna talk about light injury or something, so, so it takes about five days, four or five days normally. Uh, with a magnetic pulser, you can speed the process up to about two days. And uh, how I know this is I actually experienced it myself a few times, actually. Just recently, I have received big injury, I can say. I thought I broke my rib, but I probably just cracked it because it's right here. I had a bump develop here and it was hurting badly. I, I couldn't breathe, my, I couldn't inhale all the way. I couldn't inhale halfway. It was bad. Um, and uh, uh, the only time I could relieve the uh, pain is by using magnetic pulser. It's actually not the only spot I injured. Uh, there is injury, I fell off the ladder and I injured my knee right here. Injured on this side knee and let me show you my back so I have a big scar on my back well the scar doesn't really hurt what hurts is the bones the bones hurting like um, I actually only used the magnetic pulser on the back only one time. In here I used it probably um, 12 times in the past three days, two, three days, two and a half days by now. Um, and I'm feeling almost recovered. My knee doesn't hurt. Um, and then I also injured my elbow here as well. So it was like not very pleasant but I'm so glad that I have magnetic pulser and it was a lifesaver I am I'm so so being serious right now if I would have not had the pulser I probably would have been in the bed for the next two three days that's how bad it was so I I'm so glad that this technology actually exists and um, and and I have it I actually the one who's who's making them and originally originally I uh, didn't know about pain killing effect I thought it was just um, capable of like deactivating uh, viruses and uh, which actually I learned that as well later on. I thought it was just good for different infections um, and uh, for cancer and stuff like that. That's what I thought. But when I start making them and start using them, I've discovered these um, benefits that it has, which is pain reduction effect, uh, speed up healing effect, and um, other effects which it charges every cell in our body um, anywhere you put it you recharging the cells and you making that place um, stronger so just want to share this with you guys and wanted to make sure that you are aware of um, this type of thing and when you do use magnetic pulser to reduce your pain 
however whatever place that is you should um, not go on, not go back and um, you should you should take it easy after that basically that's what I'm saying is uh, because you need to give some time for your body to recover you will get faster recovery but you do need to give some time for your body to recover so that's why I want to make this video to talk about this all right guys if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and give me thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one